The new French government's facing criticism over its choice of new faces in the cabinet. New Prime Minister Jean Castex has picked a few controversial figures, but after new faces and talents were promised by the Elysee Palace, the majority of the cabinet stayed the same. Those who were chosen indicate the government is now shifting to the right. And the man who has been named as the new Interior Minister, Gérald Darmanin, is the facing a preliminary investigation into a rape accusation. He firmly denies any wrongdoing. Well, joining me now in the studio is our international correspondent, Annelise Borges. Annelise, there are several controversial ministers who have been selected, but who stands out the most? Um, I guess you said it, uh, Oli. Uh, the man picked to be the interior minister, Jahal Dahmanan, really is the most controversial pick in this new cabinet. As you mentioned, he's currently under investigation for rape, sexual harassment and breach of trust for events dating back to 2009. Originally, the charges had been dropped, but appeals judges have uh, ordered the reopening of that investigation only uh, uh, last month, uh, earlier this month, actually. So this is brand new. Um, and activists are absolutely furious. As you mentioned, Darmana denies any wrongdoing, but a lot of people here in France say that this kind of profile should not have been picked to be the interior minister in this country. And they, uh, a group of activists tried to stage uh, a um, protest earlier today in front of his new office, calling, chanting Darmana rapist, not exactly the kind of welcome uh, I imagined he was hoping for. And another controversial pick is, of course, France's new justice minister. Eric dupont moretti is uh, France's most famous lawyer, but perhaps one of the most divisive figures in this sector as well. He uh, picked some high-profile cases. Uh, he defended that mayor last year who was accused of fraud. He also has some very derogative terms that he's been using in the past to describe the judges here in France. So it's going to take some time for him to actually charm uh, those judges and to gain their trust to be able to represent them. But as you said, apart from those changes, what we've seen in this new cabinet is a lot of the same names. These big ministries, such as the, the economy uh, ministry, the defense and education remain under the same um, the same uh, control under the same names. And it seems the Justice Minister will have some repair work potentially there to be getting on with. When we look at the local elections which were recently held in France, the green wave seemed to continue, more green mayors being elected. It Absolutely. looked like there was pressure coming on Macron to turn towards more environmentally friendly policies, but yet he's shifting towards the centre-right. Absolutely. Um, it's been quite interesting to observe Emmanuel Macron, who promised a new chapter in his government and he, who promised that he was going to focus on on more uh, social and environmental policies. And here we are with a cabinet that reflects a different type of strategy, a strategy that is, seems to try to appeal to more conservative voters. Of course, everybody knows that these are the last two years that Macron has to try to renew his chances of being re-elected in 2022. And he is clearly trying to appeal to more conservative voters, to more uh, voters on the right. He has picked a cabinet full of friends of a um, former president here in France, who's also a very close ally and a close, close advisor for Emmanuel Macron, Nicolas Sarkozy, uh, who's a man who uh, a, a lot of people were actually talking about potentially being named in, in, in this cabinet. That was not the case, but it's clear Clearly that, it's clear that Emmanuel Macron is trying to um, send a message to voters on the right that he is uh, their man, he could be uh, their choice. And of course, he's hoping that he will get uh, to 2022 and that his only opponent will be the leader of the far right, Marine Le Pen. But he's hoping that voters don't go that far and that they stick to them and that they give uh, him another chance to govern France. A lot of work to be done, though, if we're looking Absolutely. at those latest opinion polls. Annelise Borges, thanks very much.